Hi everyone, this is Fly Fisher. I'm joined over here with Professor X. And um, this video is a little late um, in my production and development of them. Uh, I kind of just was too eager and skipped forward to doing uh, part four in my series and trying to run it uh, with the Jewel Ringer and all this stuff without kind of taking uh, taking a little slower and just kind of analyzing these batteries and and what their true potential is for and um, again I'm still kind of trying to run things but all that I feel that these things these crystal cell batteries really work good for are just the uh, LED lights and um, this one over here I had been using for about two months and I blew the lights because I tried uh, the jewel ringer and ran way too many volts through it and burnt this out. But <clears throat> this thing actually ran for a good two and a half months. I just turned it on every night with a night light using, uh, you know, c cells one, two, and three in series, and it worked perfectly. Um, and that's what I'm going to do with these cells here. At some point, I'm going to go back and actually just, you know, put three or four of them together and use them as either, um, you know, just use them as, as lights for what they are. I have yet to be able to run anything else on them. Unfortunately, I'm not the type that has a lot of electronics or battery uh, style electronics to run radios or any other thing for that matter. So I haven't really been able to test uh, these batteries out too much. But... I mean, for me, the whole idea is just to have light if I go camping or if electricity goes out or whatnot. So, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you. Uh, these are the, my batteries. They're uh, crystal cell batteries. I'm using all the all the notations are in my earlier videos. These ones I made bigger. They're like an inch and three quarters. I wanted uh, a larger top here in order so I could you know drill holes in there for my for my um, my screws and then if I ever wanted to use them in series I can easily stack them and you know they're really nice you know setup and then when I have the extra two holes uh, again the, the positives on the outside and then the negative wire being on the inside but then it would just pop out of the end here and then go up to the to the next the next cell and be added there so anyhow I just wanted to show you the results um, of me kind of just testing out these batteries <clears throat> so as we can see here this is my detailed information regarding the building of these batteries the voltage and the uh, milliamps over the last three months the first three batteries I made, I I, I built them in, in April sometime, I think April 22nd or something like that. However, I somehow lost the actual voltage requirements of when I built those. So the earliest um, dates I have for these batteries are 512. Then I have these dates over here, these voltages over here, which were done on 623. And then uh, today's date of 9:23. <clears throat> also over here is my milliamps, and then some notes. Now, from for cells one and three, I did not heat up the copper. Uh, some videos mentioned to heat up the copper. I didn't do that in these three. I did do them on the the next uh, eight of them, or nine of them. Sorry. And then I also some notes because in the repacking, when I was pack it, uh, packing the salts inside, I did screw a couple up where the metal was actually touching. So I had to actually go back and uh, repack them. So I wanted to make sure that um, I had noted it here in case, you know, the voltage or whatever really fluctuates in the end. <clears throat> so I thought what was kind of cool on my initial batteries, they started out really strong, right? They carried over uh, two months later or one month later, holding the same voltage, if not higher. And then 
four months later or five months later, <clears throat> we're still holding the same charges, if not greater. And the cool thing is that they're each holding a 0.2 milliamp. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need some water. Now for the rest of them, I had varying mixes. Uh, uh, I mean, I had really great results when I first built these things. Could just be I had a very high humidity, but man, I was really pumping out some volts and some, some milliamps here. But then as you look over time, look at that. I, you know, I'm getting, some are up. I mean, overall, all of them are down in voltage and definitely all of them are down in milliamps. But that's expected. But then I have like a I got a I got a home run here. That one's holding at 0.4 milliamps. But then I got some some losers over here that are 0 0.0, which you know again the milliamps uh, the amps in general are used to actually drive the electricity. So it's important to have the milliamps. And you can see here I have zero one one, and then this one's less than one. Yeah. So four and three came out really good. Packing was all the same. I mean, the heat treatment was all the same. But again, they're they're different, just like lovers. So, you know, some are going to be some are going to turn out good. Others are not going to be so good. So, um, anyhow, these are my results. I just wanted to make note that um, I tried to run all of these together in series, and I did get 19 volts up front. But there's some sort of weird thing that happens when these things all start kind of being connected together. And I was, you know, when I checked it back at it three weeks later, it was making weird things like 9 volts and 12 volts and then making my uh, my uh, meter thing go kind of wacky. In terms of milliamps, it's just putting out the last the last cell that's in, in the series. Again, I, I know there's a lot of videos where people are saying, oh, we'll just run it in parallel. You cannot do that with crystal cells it just doesn't work I haven't seen anyone attempt attempt and successfully attempt to run these things in parallel if you guys if you guys have seen it online please share it with me that would be awesome uh, someone mentioned circuit caps I have yet to go purchase that and test it out but these things they they work together in series but they don't work together in parallel so that's a major issue with trying to make these batteries do something greater than what we're currently at so anyhow these are my cool cool batteries um i mean they're running the test of time uh, i just want to mention too with uh, cells one and three i did keep those things under a load for about two months every night when i had the night light on these other nine i did not have them run under any any uh, no power I didn't have them connected to anything so that could be an issue of why the cells aren't performing or not having as great of results as expected because they weren't under a load so maybe they just haven't been properly you know uh, tested uh, you know under under some constraints so I don't know that's something to think about too but uh, you know part four of my video you know Videos one and two kind of explain a little bit more about my process of building these. Uh, the video four is about uh, me using a jewel ringer. I tried attempting to use it with these these batteries here. It did not work. I know Laser Saber or Laser Hacker. Uh, he tried and, and success, successfully attempted it, but he was also using um, uh, capacitors in order to run his lights. So, but I tried running these batteries connected to a jewel ringer, it did not work. So, uh, just for you guys to know, if you guys are trying to build these in conjunction with the jewel ringer, it just doesn't, it hasn't worked for me. So, any suggestions there are greatly appreciated. This is Flyfish, this is Flyfisher. Thanks again. Talk soon.